Well, I have a, a, a deep love and affection for art, and I've started a couple projects that look at the intersection of art and science, and I think that that really is reflective of the kind of liberal arts environment that I am almost encouraged to take on that, that kind of inquiry outside my main area of study. And I've been here 15 years. Uh, I teach courses in evolution, uh, upper level animal behavior, behavioral ecology, and conservation biology classes. Core, I think, of my identity is as a scientist and doing that, you know, that work in the lab and especially in the field and traveling around the world to study environmental change. It was really important to me to develop projects right here in Lancaster. This is my home and I, I want to help make it better and give back. And so uh, I have a big project here in collaboration with Lancaster Conservancy, studying their preserves, uh, how wildlife uses it, and in particular now, how human use of those preserves impact wildlife to help inform management as well as ecology. Time in the field with students on a beautiful winter afternoon when the sun is going down and the light is perfect and we're hiking along in the woods with the Susquehanna River in the background and, and just seeing the joy in their faces of having the opportunity to be out in a beautiful place and do research, I think are really rewarding memories. But you know, it's also equally rewarding after years of work to put all your data into a spreadsheet and get it set for analysis, push the button to run your statistical model and see what you found and that eureka face of a student when they see what the results of the experiment or the work that we've done is also equally as rewarding as those beautiful hikes. <laughs>